Hi. In this case, we want to chain sign requests. So this means that there are separate sign requests which can be uh, which can be signed and rejected separately, but still they will end up in a chain, so they will be able to be signed in one go. So a user can just open up the chain and then sign one by one or reject uh, somewhere in the middle and then continue the signing of the other documents. Let's see how to get started. To get started, we only need to run this kind of uh, um, code. So we're going to run this in the developer console for this uh, demo. So uh, I'm going to close this one and then open the execute anonymous. Obviously, you would launch this in uh, in your own code or in some Apex or from a uh, Lightning component. In this code, you, you, we need a couple of things. So we need a sign request template. This is a normal sign request template. The only thing that we would uh, stress on is that you say suppress all emails. Otherwise, the, the user will get an email uh, for every sign request created, and that's obviously not what we want to uh, want to want, what we want to achieve. Uh, next to that, what we uh, need is going to be a list of records. So, in this uh, list of records. Uh, is the records that you want to uh, generate a document for, and then you want to uh, create a signed request for. We need a unique name for the chained signed request, so you can choose that name. Uh, and then we're going to create what we call a convert data model. Uh, the convert data model is for uh, for PDF Butter to, uh, to know what kind of information do I need to start generating the documents. In this case, the convert data model can be uh, rather simple uh, because we don't need alternatives or locales or anything like that. We're just going to say this is the doc config to run when generating the documents. Obviously, the convert data model would also require a record ID, but these record IDs are going to be filled in in real time with the list of record IDs provided here. So this uh, doc config is also nothing special. So it's just going to be our quote in this case. And the, uh, what we have done here is set the delivery option to base 64 to make sure that there is no uh, document generated or saved on the uh, records in our case opportunities. Now, um, what's specific on this code is that everything is hard coded. This is a demo, obviously. So I would not hard code these kind of IDs in your code because on every environment they would be different. So make sure that you get the sign request ID, for instance, by name, and that you get the doc config ID, for instance, by the uh, view customer doc config ID. So that's a field, and this uh, identifier is unique on all environments or on all uh, orgs that you will be working on with this uh, uh, doc config. So that means that you can hard code this variable, uh, but of course not the ID of the uh, doc config. Okay, so now we have that information. I'm just going to launch it. Let me clear out the uh, um, the path here. I'm going to clear out the log panel, and if I launch it, it will actually now prepare the sign request and start a batch job. <clears throat> and the batch job will actually start preparing all of the documents that are uh, that are required. So for all the uh, records that you have provided, and also it will uh, start creating all of the um, uh, all of the sign requests. Let's take a look. They're already going to be a chain sign request. Yes, so that one is already created. And uh, it will now say that it's still in status preparing. So the sign requests are already there. They are uh, getting uh, almost uh, ready. So they are almost launched. So let's uh, refresh this page. And then the preparing state will be over. And it will be in status pending. So pending is fine because now we have our uh, sign URL. So all the information that we require. And uh, from here, we can start the signing. So normally, uh, there would be a mail sent out to the uh, uh, to the signer, obviously. And that mail would then uh, be the starting point for this sign request. So if I click this uh, um, link, the first sign request will open. And now I can choose to uh, sign or reject this sign request. And then the next one would open automatically.